Electric cars, wearable tech, the implementation of greener energy sources in the common society. All of these things have one thing in common. They, among thousands of others, are limited by our current battery technology. Our current method of storing electricity is quite inefficient, and on top of that, it takes advantage of the interaction of toxic and highly flammable chemicals, making them incredibly dangerous if not safely handled. We need an alternate method of storing electricity that is both safer and more efficient. With this, I present to you a whole new class of energy storing devices that take advantage of the same phenomenon that makes PN junction diodes possible. Here I hold two different materials. One is made of something called N-type silicon and the other P-type silicon. Now if I join these two materials, I would create something called a P-N junction for the extra electrons located within the crystal lattice of the N-type silicon would suddenly rush to fill in the electron holes located within the crystal lattice of the P-type silicon, creating what is known as a space charge region. Now, knowing that the definition of electric current is the flow of charged particles, we can safely assume that current was produced when these two objects were first joined. In theory, we could use this current to power any electrical device you could imagine. To test this, I used a multimeter to measure the exact amount of voltage between these two materials and was able to determine it to be 0.5 millivolts exactly. Now, what you see here is the design for my invention. What you have is a cylinder of n-type silicon separated from a cylinder of p-type silicon by a layer of insulating material. The whole thing will be encased in another layer of insulating material for added protection and will have two electrodes on the sides to allow it to be connected to a circuit. Due to the lack of financial support, I was unable to build more than one prototype, but I'm confident that with further development, these devices could one day serve the same purpose as batteries without the fire hazard or the use of toxic chemicals. With even further development, you could, in theory, make these devices to be as small as carbon nanotubes. My name is Will Pascal, and thank you for your time.